Hey guys, Bruno here. Welcome back to Brewmaster, the beer brewing simulator. Here we are for episode uh, number six. So continuing on from last one, we did those couple of jobs, um, and we've sent our beer off to the Home and Hearth Brewery over here, Bruno's Pandy Dropper. Got to skip through to the next month and see how much money we earn. Probably not a great deal, I don't think. All right, so brewer mastery plus ten percent, beer category plus ten percent. Um. Favourite beer categories? Oh, that's pretty good. So if you match one of their favourite beer categories, it gives you a bonus. Plus 10% novelty, which is when a new beer hits the market, it'll slowly decrease. Fine quality. The contamination was obviously a little bit high, but plus 5%. So we made 32 beer tokens. 30.44% average of 77 ratings. Not too bad at all. All right, let's look at the Brewers Quarterly. Hey Brewer, now you have your hands on a set of medium sized equipment, it's time for the next stage in Rose's fundraising master plan. We need to recruit Home and Her to the cause and together we've organised a big old barbecue for the rowing club fundraiser. Both agree that one of your beers would be the best thing to put people in a generous mood, but there'll be a lot of thirst to quench so you'll need to put together a larger set of equipment to use. The job in Cordley will mean the world to me and the rowing club if you could get involved. Complete the job an awesome brew. All right, here's Pat. Great news, brewer. My favourite local brewery, Ruffled, are going to feature in the quarterly. They're a local. They're a brewery that like to push the boundaries whilst also having the technical know-how to create pristine beer. It's my kind of people. The first job in the quarterly is an ideal excuse to create a hazy storm of a beer. Remember to use grains with high protein and really kick up those clouds, which gives me an idea. You should pick up a glass carboy, which I've already got. Um, that way you'll get to see your hazy must piece before you move it to the barrel. Even better, check the carboy throughout the fermentation and see the yeast working its magic. Um, if you're anything like me, you'll end up gawking at the Crawson at the top. Chemistry is wild. Alright. Let's open up. Track this job first. An awesome brew. So batch size is medium. ABV between 1 and 4. Bonus between 3 and 4. Okay. So ABV is what we've got to look for. Um, ABV of 6.3 for the New England IPA. I'm not sure if that's a new recipe or not. 8.2 for the Imperial Stout, so way higher. Um, let's flick through these things. Nothing really exciting there. Alright, let's look at our recipes. Something with low ABV. Between 3 and 4, which I don't know if we'll get that low. 7, 5, 3, 4, 6 for the Blonde Ale. I think that's going to be the lowest, yeah, 4, 6 for the Blonde Ale. Let's go batch size, medium, in the recipe, but we need to work out, um, where's the ABV? Fermentation. Another page? No, that's it. Oh, ABV. How strong is your beer? Alcohol by volume is the percentage of ethanol and processes yeast consume sugars. So does that mean less yeast? Less sugar? For the ABV? I would think so. Um, fermentation which can microbes metabolize. Duh, 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 duh. Oh, it's a lot to read there. I won't worry you guys of that. But I'm thinking... Um, we get less yeast. Lower the yeast, the better. Um, let's look at how much yeast does it actually want. Three hundred grams. So 300 grams gets us 4.6. We're probably going to need to go about... Oh, what's that? If we take 50 off, it'll be 250. Maybe just below 250, maybe. Yeah, I think so. We're going to have to go with a medium. Medium? How much has this got? 50 litres, yeah. So we're going to have to go medium everything, I think. Uh, medium oak barrel tubes. I always get too many tubes. Seven, put that back. Oops, get out of that. And the cooling, the medium. We've got the, me oh, the medium burner. 
I don't think we have the medium burner yet. We've got it, but I don't think we've used it. Let's place it there, and then we'll spin it around. There we go. All right, let's throw that in the sink. Oh, no, that's right. It's too large for the sink. Okay, throw that on there. Uh, let's go tap from there to there. Yep. Not going to let me do it. Cancel. All right, put that down there. Make tube from there to there. Turn that on. I pick, oh, see, as soon as I pick it up, it stops it. Damn it. All right. There to there. Turn you on. So I need 42 litres. 22 litres. Need to add 20 litres and add 22. I think I just need to heat the whole bloody thing up, honestly. Like, it's just... Really the easiest way to do it. Um, right, throw that down. Spin some things around. Let's get the lid off this. So we need... American Pale Ale, 6 kilos. I don't think... This will just change... The flavours. So that's 6 kilos. Crystal Amber, 500 grams. Which is easy done. And Malted Wheat, 360. Uh, malted Wheat, 360. Right, so let's go. Malted Wheat, try and get 360 in there. pretty good. We need 500 grams of crystal amber. Then 6 kilos of the rest, so smash all this straight into it. Oop, no. Don't want to take the tube. No. Or pour that in. There we go. Get that thrown in. Good. Let's throw all these back in the bin. That's still got some in it. Got lid on. So we're gonna. I'm just gonna need to. I'm just gonna fill this thing. Oop. Not that much. Feel like. Oh, let's throw that on. That'll. Obviously, that'll. Do a bit of condensation. And it should drop from 50 liters. I hope. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, 74 degrees, 20 litres to the mash ton, so... From there, to there, there. To there. Turn you on. 20 litres of liquid. Oh, I want to make sure we don't go too far. It doesn't take long for it. Times 100, it just flies. Right, then we've got to try and keep it at that, which is the hardest part. Back on there. Disconnect that. Lid back on. So let that boil. So that's got to be for an hour, which is hard. So 11.26 sort of aiming for. Like every 10 minutes we're sort of going to add to it. Let's go 20 minutes and then add a litre. 46. Alright, there we go. Let's... I don't know how this doesn't burn the crap out of the table. Alright, let's add one more litre. See how we go, let's... Yeah, I think one more litre will be good. Done. Let's pick that up. That way we can just put that straight back down quicker. So 26, 46, let's go 06. Oh, 06, and then we put another litre in. This is just increasing the contamination though, that's the only problem. Alright, put another litre in, so 23.5, and, and then we need to go to 26. 
eleven twenty six. Once again, do that, throw that there, pick that up. Right on that, eh, it's got 27 litres, so we need to throw 22 litres at 100 degrees. Right. Get it to go through to 26. Done. Grab you. Ah, from there to there, there, and into here. Another 22 litres will be. 55.6 roughly. Right. Let's get that done. I don't know if we can. Oh, we can't. We can only get 50. Oop. Yep. Stop that. Get back on. That up. Throw that back out. Need the bigger. Ash ton, I think. Right, put that back into there. But what did we put in originally? 20 litres, that should have only been 42 litres. We added a couple of extra litres, but. Right, let's that, let that do its thing. Um, hops to boil blackwood 10 grams. This is the other thing I said. I'd like to see the names underneath everything because it's just hard to bloody find. Backward 10 grams. Honey, 100 grams. Um, hops, Cascader. Which I think is a blue one. Yeah, there we go. 110 grams. Oop. 100 and then 10. Yep, okay, good. Alright. Add hops, boil until 100 degrees. This is going to take a while for it to come out of here. Alright, pick that up. Uh, put that on there. Get rid of that. Okay. Should be nothing in there. Like, clean it. Good, done. So boil that to 100 degrees. Shouldn't take too long, it's already pretty hot. Right, then we go blackwood. 10 grams. 50 minutes. So 12.52. That'll do it, let's add these other hops. And then 100 grams. Which I've got to take that off. Oop, no. 100 grams of honey. Right, then we can put that back on. Throw the honey back. Oop. Honey, cascader, boil for 10 minutes. So 102. Um, remove the hops. To take that off, put that on the bench. Oops, always press the wrong body buttons. The tap to intake, outtake to the sink. Turn that on, turn that off. And we've got to transfer that to here. Yeah, the tap's turned on. Seems like it's taken a while for it to cool down. Turn it off, does that make a difference? It's really slow. Need to put some ice water in it. I think there's other things we can buy that help it get cooler a lot quicker. There we go. That there. Take that out. Throw that back. We want to go from here to the intake. Outtake to the carboy. Um, 
Transfer in. So SoCal, SoCal Ale. Which is 150, I think. I'm thinking... So 4.6% at 150. If we take away... Like 30 of that. Take a fifth away. That should be below... Or I think about 230, 240. Um, yeah, 230 to 240, maybe. So 150, say plus 70, I think would be the way to go. Oh, Jesus. Turn pump on. Or is it still on? Alright, turn pump on. There we go. Um, four into 70. 70 grams. I think that'll do. Um, place that back in the fridge. So we need to do it at. I don't know if that tells us here. Um, 20 to 23 degrees Zane to ferment. It's a little bit low, but that'll probably pick up the temperature, I think. All right, let's just get all this out of there. Done up, put that lid on. Leave this because we're going to need it again. Clean that, put it back. Ferment at 20 degrees for 15 days. Let's go eight days and we'll have a look at it. If it looks any different. See the stuff on the top there. Let's go seven more days. Eight, seven's fifteen. Yeah, see it's all gone to the bottom now. That is very cool. Alright, corn should go three hundred grams. I think, from what I remember. Corn sugar only does um, the carbonation. So if we put extra in, we get more carbonation. If we put less in, we get less carbonation. Right, that'll do. Transfer to conditioning container. Boom. Oh, fingers crossed this works. A little bit less yeast will less alcohol t content, hopefully. Let's get all that. Shouldn't be overflowing. But it is. It's weird. Alright, throw those away. Lid on that. Clean it. No, place away. Wrong button. So, 42 litres. I thought it was bigger than that. Um... 80 litres, oh, that's only, well, there's a medium there, 42 litres as well. That's interesting. Alright, so here we've got like the basic counterflow chiller. As the warp moves through this, it runs parallel to cold water going the other way, chilling it before it gets to the fermenter. I don't know how these things work. I think we'll wait on those things until it tells us. How it works. Alright, that's conditioned for 21 days. Fingers crossed, this one will... This one will work out well. Right, taste and package. Fingers crossed. Pale, which is good. Very clear, that's good. Be Oh, it's more multi and sweet, clean and crisp. 0.9%, that's the lowest I've had, I think. ABV, fingers crossed. Oh. Still 4.6%. That's... 
Not going to be very good, I don't think. Um, awesome blonde. Awesome blonde. Not that it's going to make any difference. Um, it's just not going to make meet the requirements. Uh, label template. We'll go with that one again. Awesome blonde. Done, done, done. Bit disappointing. Can't do either of those. One and four. Three and four. So I don't know how we get that ABV down a bit. It's very disappointing because that... Um, That recipe, uh, where is it? Pale ale, blonde ale, 4.66. What did we have? 4.6. That didn't go down at all. The only thing I can think that would affect. Get out of that. Move that out of the way. There we go. Um, ABV. As yeast consumes sugar, so maybe we should put less sugar and less yeast in it. Yeah, that's a little little annoying, I guess. Alright, let's wing it again, I suppose. We'll see what happens. Right. To you, grab you. Um, put you down there. Turn that on. Uh, number two, go there. Number three, you can just sit there for now. Right, I don't think the grains have anything to do with... Um... The alcohol content at all, so still amber 500. I mean, it, it's the malted wheat. Like the malted wheat. Oh, did we put malted oats in last time? Potentially. Uh oh. Um, get that turned around. Broken pile out. Just throw the full six grams in. I'm going to do one lot of yeast this time, not two, to try and get that ABV down. And then also, maybe I need 200 grams of sugar instead of 300. I'm just a bit concerned that we're going to go over again. I'd rather go under, not get between three and four, but even less than... Less than three, I'm not too concerned about. Done, put lid on. 42 litres, so we just fill the body thing up, doesn't matter. Put on there. I'm going to heat it to 80 degrees this time. Alright, there we go. Take, outtake. Then we're going to put, ooh, 20 litres. We really put 42 in then. Twenty litres. It's a bit hot, but oh, that. Oop. Wrong button again. Take that. We take that off. Can't. Do it for me then. Alright, so that's got to be 65 degrees for one hour, so 550. Probably won't even go below that. Yeah, that's pretty good. Won't have to stress too much about it. Um, 22 litres of hot water can go in, so now at least we won't overflow it. Right, so that'll be 43.5 if we actually turn it on. Turn it on. Oh, 
Pick that up. Pull that from that one. Put that away. I, I, I needed that. Now I'm getting... Going all over the shop. I like to use that. Antique kettle. Alright, so we've got 44 litres. A little bit too much, but... Um, Rule to 100 degrees, so 50 grams... I mean, 10 grams of black wood. Which is down here. And 55 of cascade... No, 110 of cascader, wouldn't it? 110 of Cascada. Yep. And then honey. Honey, grab the sugar, grab yeast. Get it all ready to go. Alright, let's get all that transferred over. Did I turn that music on or? I think I did. Alright. Pick you up. Um, Alright, throw that there. Okay, so boil till 100 degrees. Throw in our blackwood for 50 minutes. So where are we? 4, 6, 20, 7, 22. Something like that. Alright, now we need to move that down to add the 100 grams of honey. Oh, we need to add two cascaders. Um, 10 minutes. Oh, so I need to grab. Ah, oh, damn it, I'll throw that back. Grab another one of those. We'll grab. Grab another one of those, and not press the wrong button. Grab the soap. Kale ale. Right, then 10 minutes, so at 32. Take that off. Take all those out. Pick you up, throw you in there. Take. Outtake, turn that on, turn that off. I think that's good. Actually, this can go back in there. I'm not going to cool it to what it says. This is so Cal Alley, it says 20 to 23 degrees. So when it hits like 23 degrees, I'll take it off. I put it in there and it's too cool. There you go. Um, I'll take that off. Oh, I can go back in there. Pick you up. I'll go from there to in. From there to in there. Transfer. Add the yeast. Going. Pump on, I did press it, but... Right, let's just get that all out of there. Right, now we can... Disconnect the tube. Add the yeast. And ferment for 15 days. Hopefully that's going to be enough. Right, lid on. Back. Uh, if you can go back in back in there. Let's go ferment for 15 days. This will be a good test to see if the ABV will go down. Um, bang, bang, done. Add 300 grams of corn. I think I'm going to add 200 grams, maybe. I don't want to add too much. Then we want to go from there to there to there to here. Then 
Oh shit, we forgot the honey. Did we? Oh no, we didn't forget the honey, I just haven't put it away yet. Ooh, thank god for that. Condition for 21 days, alright. Let's get that out of there. Alright, pick that up. Put the lid on that. Oop. Yep, done. Let's condition for 21 days. Fingers crossed. This one's going to work. Oh. If not, I'm going to have to try something else. Like I just don't know what else we can do. See if it really is an awesome brew this time. You yeah, see, it's very flat. Still clear, which is good. Still multi and sweet. Everything should still be the same. Um, 0.9 off. ABV. It's still 4.6%. Damn, I just... I do not know what to do. Um... I do not know what to do to, to get that to work, really. Um, oh, that's a couple of failed beers. I don't, just don't know what to do to get that down. I really don't, because we had... Penny dropper thing. Um, eight point two, three point six. What's that? Amber ale, sweet but subtle. Can we submit beer? Can we submit it to that? The batch size is medium. Amber ale, Irish red ale. Let's have a look at our. Scottish export. How did we get that? Amber Ale 3.6 ABV. If the only thing we've got there is the Amber Ale. Don't, I really don't know. Um, 4.6, 4.6. That's... Sweet but subtle. I don't know what recipe we use for that. Saying an amber ale, but... American pale ale, it can't be that. Like, it's... Beer category, amber ale. Yeah, I'm not sure, really. I'm going to have to try and work out how we reduce the ABV because that's like if that was a medium size we'd be able to use that but we can't because it's not big enough damn that sucks but I can't work out what recipe it was clean and crisp fruit and spice multi and sweet That's the recipe there. But how did I get it? So low ABV. Have a look at that there. So we've got 22.6 colour. Well, that's really low colour though. Unless that's a, a recipe. Because I did... Get out of there. I did muck around and made my own recipe, but... I think I actually deleted it. It's so hard to get something that's going to be... Because I did half of the... Not even... Oh, just above, about two-thirds of the sugar and half of the, the yeast and it was still... 
4.6, 4. It was higher. Yeah, I don't know. That is really strange. I'm going to have to try and work out how we get that that down, the ABV down. Um, yeah, go from there. That just is a little annoying. Like those two, I mean, they're not bad. Not bad beers, obviously, but they're not what we need. We're just not going to be able to get this one done until we can get that down lower. And I don't think this will do it either. That's way higher ABV, but saying that that's what that is, an amber ale, but it's an Irish red ale. There's nothing in there that has amber ale in it, so that's what I mean, I'm, I'm confused. Everything's just way too high alcohol. I don't know. Anyway, guys, we'll, we'll leave it here, and I'll try and work this out somehow. And um, I'm back to you the next episode and let you know how I worked it out, if I can manage to work it out. If not, we're kind of stuck, but we'll see how we go. But um, if you guys enjoyed this one, as always, smash that like button. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the series so far. If you're new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, guys, please do so. It's been Prado. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.